I think this is a really, really uh, interesting question, especially mm -hmm. when you look at what's happening in Hungary, for instance. What does Naomi think about the growing alliance between far-right movements uh -huh. who often entertain anti-Semitic tropes and the Israeli right? And what does this say about the claims of organizations like the ruling Conservative Party to be committed to the fight against anti-Semitism? Ah, yes. Now, this is a, a really major and very dangerous development. Um, basically, well, actually, if you go right back to the beginning of the Zionist movement, it depends on the existence of anti-Semitism. You can't have a Zionist movement calling Jews to come together and go and set up a state somewhere other than where they, they previously lived, unless you, you can mm. propose it as being a solution to anti-Semitism. So without anti-Semitism, there isn't really any need for Zionism. Okay, um, that, that may seem a bit, bit misused. But basically what's happened now is you have, in many countries, America is a very good example. You have far right organizations and movements Many Christian evangelicals, sadly, come into this category, people with extremely conservative reactionary views on social questions who are ardently supportive of Israel. There's a sort of messianic religious base to some of this, these beliefs. So Christian Zionism actually predates Zionism as an aspiration for Jewish people, as a political aspiration for Jewish people. There's always a sort of spiritual hankering for a, a biblical Jerusalem, biblical Zion, but that's quite different. And you do have some very religious Jews who regard political Zionism actually seizing by military might a state as anathema, as a sort of um, actually a, a anti-Jewish thing to, to believe it. Anyway, sorry, I'm straying. But so you have this idea that the that there's a biblical prophecy that Christ will come again when all the Jews of the world are gathered in Zion, the ingathering of the exiles. And there are Christian Zionist movements, millions of them. I'm not talking about a few cranks, I'm talking about the mass base of Trump, for example. Millions mm. of people who believe that Israel is sort of working towards the realization of that prophecy by encouraging Jews to come from all over the world and settle in Israel. And when Christ comes again, you know, before the horsemen of the apocalypse and Armageddon and all that will happen, and hooray, <laughs> um, all the people who are not believers in Christ will be wiped out, including the Jews who helped but then didn't convert, you know. And those who believe will will ascend. They call they actually call it the rapture. They will ascend to live with God in heaven, and it will be wonderful. Um, and this is, <laughs> it's, I'm sorry, it feels really weird, but there are whole there are films about this and books about this and people who go to Israel praying for this to happen. They want it to happen, and mm. that aligns with other sort of aspects of, of far right politics, which are deeply racist. So you have people who can combine hatred of all non-white, non-Christian religions and ethnicities with support for the Israeli state. And in some of them, mm. the, the clever ones, it's it's quite explicit, you know, oh, great, it's a white supremacist state. It's suppressing its... Uh, uh, EDL, I mean, in this country, the English defense Yeah, yeah state, that's right, that's right. You know, Tommy Robinson, there are pictures of yeah. him in Israel with a gun in front of a tank saying, yay, go Israel. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it isn't, it, it's awful for people who are well-meaning Zionists who sort of believe, I know my old mum used to say, oh, but we have to have a home to go to. There's a fear. The fear is real. I hope that people watching this realise. Jews have a long history of persecution which has led to genocide against them. It's not something you can take lightly. It really isn't. So if people are brought up with this uh, this this belief that the answer to that is the creation of a state where Jews will be perpetually in the majority and able to to, to rule, then you know th that's that's going to be the saving of you when the next Hitler comes. Mm. Unfortunately, there are people for whom the the perpetuation of that fear is kind of it's necessary for their for their political existence mm. so they, they they keep keep on stoking the fear 